Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be using Crafter Square paints for the first time. So let's get started. Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing some pours over these cute little apples and these beautiful fall leaves and this wooden pumpkin. So my friend and I, Sonia, went to the Dollar Tree and she gifted me all of these beautiful paints from the Dollar Tree. The brand is Crafter Square and this is really my first time ever trying this paint. They finally had all these colors available. So I can't wait to try them. So I mixed everything in with the liquid text pouring medium. And there is some tempera paint as well. I thought they were all acrylic, but there's actually tempera as well. Now this paint is very thin and not too pigmented. The colors are very pretty. The orange one is acrylic, so it's a mixture of acrylic and tempera. So what I did was here, since that temper paint, the purple was a little thin, I added just a drop of that purple into that cup just to give it some more pigment. And I also put a drop of the blue into the silver as well. So I mixed the Liquitex pouring medium, and then we have the paint, and we have some black and white in acrylic as well. I also put two coats of the acrylic paint on the pumpkin before I did a pour so I got all the little pieces of the um, wooden piece and I used that brush there and that's the color I used that very bright orange but the paint is kind of thin and I'm going to be making some ornaments with these very cute wooden pieces and I'm going to be using all of the colors here that you see right there today. Thank you. 
Hey guys, so it's the next day and everything is dry. This is how everything dried. And I have to say, I did have fun using them. Um, they are on the cheaper side, obviously. They are from the Dollar Tree. But I think, you know, I would give them a try, especially if you're a beginner doing pouring or doing just simple craft projects. I think they're very cool to try. Um, I do like some of the effects that happened when I poured. But the only thing is that, see these apples here? They dried very, very dark. Now, the leaves came out beautiful. I really love the way all of the leaves came out. But I did use a lot of black in the apples, and I called them my poison apples. But see, it's really hard to see the colors there. Now, acrylics do tend to dry darker, and that's incredibly normal. Now, this one came out really beautiful. So, I mean, I actually had a good time with them. I mean, that one came out very pretty as well. You see all the glitter and the green. I would give them a try. It's only a dollar each from the Dollar Tree. Uh, the name is Crafter Square. And here is, I use this for my little paint brushes. I really love the way this came out. This was my favorite. And the leaves. But, you know, it's normal for acrylic paint to dry darker. So this came out pretty cool. I enjoyed that. It did get a little runny. You see how thin that paint is? But again, I think that this paint is really a good deal, especially if you are a beginner. Um, it was glossy. I don't know if it was the liquid text or the paint itself. Some of the finishes were very glossy. The tempera paint was very thin and I had to use more of the tempera uh, to, you know, have more pigment in the paint. So and that one was very thin as well. It's basically like a glitter with some kind of medium inside the paint. But again, I think it's cool if you're a beginner or if you're doing some craft projects. So that is about it. That's my review of these paints. I did enjoy using them. I'm going to continue using them, maybe mix them with other paints. So thank you so much, guys, for watching today. I really appreciate you. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.